Hello friends. I showed you like a literal tiny little clip when I first got here. It is now 11 a.m. Welcome back by the way. My name is Jessie if you're new here. I do like lifestyle vlogs, motherhood content. I'm currently pregnant with baby number two and stuff like that. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe. Time for a roundabout. This week was kind of weird. Ben's mom and his sister watch Ivy a couple hours Monday through Wednesday. Like they kind of split it up. Sunday night, Ben's mom texted me that she had a fever which she like never gets sick. So that was a, a very big indication that <laughs> we needed to like reset our week. And Ben is like really, he's like germaphobe, which I totally get. And he just like really doesn't want to get sick. Doesn't want Ivy to get sick. Doesn't want me to get sick while I'm pregnant. I got sick a lot in Ivy's pregnancy. I got COVID. It was like a whole thing because of that. We decided not to have them come this week, both of them, because Elizabeth lives with her parents. She would be <laughs> open to whatever germs are hanging around in the house. It's a little stressful for me because that means the whole week I'm not getting any help. Sorry, my blinker's on, I can't turn it off. I'm not getting any help, which I still had work to do, like I couldn't stop working. You guys know if you watch my budgeting, the heck, my budgeting videos that um, now is not the time to be taking another week off of work and not having <laughs> my income come in. So basically what we decided is that Ben was gonna take a half day from work today, which is crazy to think that, but he has like so much PTO that it's totally fine. I don't know if it's totally fine. Like he might have a, a little bit of a mental, mental B, mental breakdown today, but otherwise I was gonna have a mental breakdown. <laughs> That's a very long winded story way of saying that Ben is home with Ivy right now. I basically worked during her nap and at night last few days. And then now he is with her today for a little bit so that I could get my writing done because basically for like writing my blogs it's very difficult for me to do a when I'm distracted like I basically need to leave the house or I need to be like fully not distracted I am just leaving the coffee shop I've been there since like eight this morning I think I did most of my research earlier this week, so I just had to like, just had to write the blogs, but that is definitely the hardest part. I feel like my brain is mush, but then at the same time, I also feel productive, which I love feeling like a productive queen, you know? Ben had said that he was gonna take off through Ivy's nap so that he could put her down. So I still have like, an hour of that time so I think I'm gonna go home and make a quick little lunchy poo and head up and edit a video so that I can be ahead on that as well so that I'm not having to like slam a bunch of stuff because one of the things about like still having to work part-time Plus I'm like trying to grow my social media so that I can hopefully bring in an income from that at some point is that like my sister-in-law comes over for two hours, Monday and Tuesday, and then Ben's mom comes over for about four to five hours. So let's say five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just say I get like eight to nine hours of work. However, that is also the time that I have to schedule appointments. That's also the time that I have to schedule phone calls. It just kind of sucks because like, for example, I was supposed to have a dentist appointment this week and I had to cancel it because thankfully they didn't charge me, even though I thought they were going to, because I didn't have childcare. I know that like other moms out there and dads, this is probably like not news to you, but I'm like still getting used to that. So 
on the weeks, which lately have been more often than not because I now have like pregnancy scans and like as I get closer to having baby, I'm gonna have even more. I have all of these doctor appointments that take at least an hour. So if I only get two hours of time from my sister-in-law and I'm gone for an hour and 15 minutes of that, <laughs> like I just, I'm just like not getting enough time to get the work done that I need to get done because I also have to do all the things that I can't do when I have Ivy. So like even though I get nine hours of help a week, that is spread between appointments, things I can't do when I have Ivy, you know, occasionally just wanting like a minute to myself <laughs> and work. So I have to like try to fit all of that into that amount of time, which is very difficult. When and if we move somewhere that it's like less expensive and I either don't have to work, things like that, we won't have help. So things will like, then I'll be a, an exhausted mom because I never get like my own space. But that just like is what it is. I decided I wanted to be a mom first and foremost. That is what I am. It's just really stressful right now because I feel like I'm a mom, I'm a pregnant mom. So I have appointments, <laughs> a lot of appointments because I'm old advanced maternal age <laughs> I have like a lot of appointments I don't just have like your normal amount of appointments plus I'm pregnant so I'm tired I have chronic illness so that adds to things and I'm like not I'm not trying to like be like oh my god woe is me like I'm very grateful for the time that I do get I'm very grateful for the job that I have because I cannot imagine having to work full-time but it, it takes a toll on you, okay? Like some days, like this week, I'm feeling pretty wiped out and it's only <laughs> Wednesday morning. I was very grateful that Ben was able to take time off of work, stay home with Ivy. I was able to get my work done uninterrupted. I can go home, do a little bit more editing, and then I'll have Ivy this afternoon and then the rest of the week and that's kind of normal. Let's go home, do a little bit more work, eat some food, see the Ivanator, have a good day. Having some leftover turkey meatballs with quinoa, going to try to edit a video. Okay, it's officially 12.55. I did like the rough edit of my video, meaning I edited it. I just need to add words, <laughs> music, if I wanna do, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a voiceover or not for the first part of it. I'll do that throughout the next few days whenever I have time. Worst case scenario, excuse me, next Monday, because that video is not until next Wednesday, like a week from today. I am just gonna chill again another day where I really wanted to work out during Ivy's nap, but I'm literally exhausted. I don't know how I'm gonna ever work out. <laughs> I, I feel like if I don't do it in the morning, I won't do it, but I'm having a hard time getting up in the morning. So maybe I just need to start going to bed earlier, which if you guys saw one of my last videos, I think it was my morning routine, I'm wondering if anybody's gonna say anything, it hasn't gone up yet. I've edited it, but it's not up yet. Ben and I have still been sleeping on the couch. I think we've slept in our new bed like two or three times, but honestly, it's cooler down here and these windows let in like really good airflow. <laughs> so Ben's been sleeping on this side and I've been sleeping over there and we haven't slept in our bed. And there's like a part of us that is like, should we send our mattress back? Cause it was like a $1,500 mattress. There's nothing wrong with the mattress. We just have been loving sleeping down here. And like when we have a baby, is it gonna be easier to have it down here so it doesn't wake Ivy up? I'm not sure. So I don't, we're like legitimately contemplating it. I don't, I don't know that we should just because I don't know if this will last that long. But I just think it's funny that we're both, excuse me that we're both sleeping on the couch. It's a big comfy couch, what can I say? Okay, I am exhausted. We're supposed to have swim lessons tonight. I wish we wouldn't have signed her up for swim lessons this time, but there's no way we would have known. It just feels like right now we're just like pulled a little bit too thin, is that the right word? Stretched a little bit too thin. Doing that stuff is just like exhausting. And she just hasn't been liking it as much either. I don't know if she just doesn't like this instructor or what but she has like not had a good time the last couple times we've went but we paid for it and you can't get refunded so 
it was like $400 for the next few months so i don't know ben is supposed to be getting some blood work done today they're actually coming to the house but i think his appointment's at 2 30 which means they're gonna wake ivy up early which kind of sucks they'll wake ivy up because the dogs will bark there's like literally no way to stop our dogs from barking they are terribly trained yeah so we have that at 2 30 we'll leave for swim lessons at like 4 45 ish i think that's it for tonight. It's a lot though. A lot going on the next few hours. Ben's obviously working this afternoon too. So I made the grocery list. Ivy and I are going to need to get groceries tomorrow morning so hopefully she's in an okay mood <laughs> in order to do that. Just trying to get through the rest of the week. Thursday and Friday are fairly normal. This weekend at least I'll have Ben back for backup and then hopefully next week we'll be back to having help. I have like a lot of appointments next week. I don't know. I'm just like a little overwhelmed with how tired I've been feeling. I I think, I don't know why I've been so tired. It has nothing to do with sleeping on the couch, by the way. I actually am sleeping better down here than I was in our house in Hoffman Estates and in our bedroom here. I'm just like waking up so much. I already have leg cramps, waking up to pee a lot. And I'm just like a super light sleeper in general. But when I'm pregnant, I feel like I'm even easily like woken up. And I don't even think anybody or anything is waking me up. I think I'm waking myself up. I haven't been good about like getting off my phone at night either. So I just need to figure that out because I need to be moving more. I've been doing better with food and with water and like less soda, things like that. But I definitely need to be moving more. I did buy a few things from Amazon's like deal stuff. I don't think it'll be in this vlog or anything. Maybe I'll do like a, a little short about it if I think it's interesting. Basically, I bought a walking pad because similar to Raleigh, but in the opposite way, like Raleigh summers are so hot that it's like really hard to go outside. Whereas winters here are so cold that it's hard to go outside. <laughs> With Ivy's pregnancy, the winters are very mild in Raleigh. We had very few days that were like under 40 degrees. We were walking constantly. We walked every day, at least once a day, at least a mile through almost 42 weeks pregnant, like through the day that before I went, or no, the day that I went in to be induced. Even though I wasn't working out, I was much more active than I am here. And you guys know I've been complaining about like, just not feeling healthy in general. So I wanted to get a walking pad. Our garage is literally right through here. So my little gym is right there. So I can either put the walking pad in there and just pull it in. Or we have this like utility closet that has like our, I don't know, utilities in it I could probably put it in there too and then I can just like pull it out while I'm watching tv at night during Ivy's nap or something like that obviously I wouldn't have it out while Ivy's out just because it would it would render itself useless <laughs> at that point plus I, I don't know it just seems kind of dangerous for me that she could like burn herself on it or something so I got one of those it was like a hundred dollars I think it was like fifty dollars off so we'll see if it's okay quality or not. Then I just got a bunch of, not a bunch, I got like three or four things that we needed. Like we needed toothpaste, it was on sale. Ivy needed toothpaste and a toothbrush, that was on sale. I got some slippers because I don't have any slippers for winter here. I don't like wearing socks and I we don't wear shoes in the house. So wanted to get some slippers. And then I, <laughs> I bought like headbands. So they were all things that have been on my list to buy and they just happened to be on sale, so that I bought them. I'm trying, as you guys have seen in our recent budgeting videos, if you watch those, we have been just spending so much, not even necessarily frivolously, but with the move and stuff. I went through everything with Ben before I purchased it last night and made sure he was okay with the purchases, stuff like that. So I'm trying to like pull back on spending in whatever ways that I can, especially because October income is very very low for me this month also we need to we need to have a chat soon about like what's going to happen in our budget next year but honestly I don't have the energy to talk about it I don't have the energy to talk about how much we lost moving here from our savings like our savings was in such a beautiful place for us it's still in a good place but we lost a lot of money that we were going to use toward like a down payment on a house. We gotta reel some things in. November's Black Friday, December's Ivy's birthday and Christmas. And I like doing gifts, so we will need to have some money for gifts 
and like doing stuff like that because that's important to me. We need to buy stuff for baby. Like there's a couple things that we need. Like we need a bassinet, which is like the biggest thing that we need. And then there's a couple of other little things. Like we need some more bottles. We need some more, like I have like a baby list sprinkle thing. We got like a couple things from our baby sprinkle, but I'm not really anticipating many more gifts toward it. I just need to decide. We'll probably buy some of that stuff in November. Now I'm just rambling, but we got some stuff coming up and I just want to be like more conscious about our spending. Ben is possibly going to have to do some more testing and supplementation, medication, food changes, aka he might have to start eating more meat because he might have to be eating a little bit more like paleo for a while. That'll affect the budget. Meat is obviously expensive, especially if you buy high quality meat. So I just feel like we got to figure things out and instead of being like stressed about it, I'm trying to not come at it from a stressed point of view, which doesn't always work. I was very stressed about it yesterday, so this is just me in a better mood today, <laughs> feeling better. This one is awake, but I'm currently sitting outside with these two because Ben, hey, you can see me, hello. Ben is doing his blood work inside and I'm trying to keep the dogs from being annoying. But she did not take a great nap today. We'll see how she is this afternoon. Good morning, friends. It's now the next day. I am headed home from Whole Foods. We drove all the way to Whole Foods today, which is probably a terrible idea because I somehow spent $250 for a week's worth of groceries. So I'm not really sure what I bought. Ivy has not been having like the best time in the car lately. She's doing okay right now though, knock on wood. I also was like so excited. There's a, a bunch of stuff to tell you, but I was so excited because I got the brown butter latte that they have there that I think I've told you guys about. I've told like TikTok, Instagram about. I love it. It's so good. It's like much less expensive than Starbucks. And he didn't charge me correctly. So I even confirmed with him like this is the brown butter latte, right? And he said yes. It is definitely not. Like I don't think there's any sweetener in it whatsoever. It tastes like an oat milk latte. Like just plain. So I know those are extreme first world problems. I'm grateful I can afford a coffee. There are hurricanes happening right now, people losing their homes. My $5 coffee is not that important. However, I will tell you why I'm a little bit bummed and it is because Ivy had probably the worst night of sleep she's had in years maybe. She woke up, well I like had a hard time sleeping in general last night because the baby inside of me was moving so much. Ivy woke up around 1.30 or something like that and did not go back to sleep until almost four. She had a full mental breakdown tantrum in the middle of the night. She ended up falling asleep on me on the couch. I just was like looking forward to having this coffee that I can't get very often anymore because we don't live by Whole Foods. And it's crap, but that's okay. I'll just put some creamer in it when I get home and hopefully or some vanilla syrup or something hopefully it'll taste a little bit not just an oat milk latte as you guys know I like my stuff sweet so I will show you a grocery haul if I'm able to if like Ivy will let me show you a grocery haul <laughs> since it's such a big one oof I was not expecting to spend that much money I don't know if it's just because I was like wandering you can't wander at Whole Foods because this is what happens. I get excited about certain things and it's yeah and instead of it being four dollars it's like a nine dollar purchase that I'm making you know. It's different if you make like three or four off list purchases that are under five dollars versus making those when they're like eight to ten dollars. <laughs> I also think I overbought sweet potatoes but is anybody else like this like I didn't know where their weighy things were and I wasn't gonna like, I'm not, I'm not about that life. That's, that seems like a lot of work with a toddler. Ben specifically needed like one and a half pounds of sweet potatoes and I needed some sweet potatoes just to eat in general. I bet I bought like so much sweet potato. I'm feeling okay right now. I think I'm just running on like adrenaline from, but I like barely slept last night. Like. 
barely. And then today is just a typical work from home, or not even, uh, just a typical stay at home mom day. I would like to finish a vlog at some point, but quite honestly, during Ivy's nap, which hopefully she takes a normal nap today, I will most likely be napping because I won't need to be napping. So that's the plan. Let's go home and I'll show you the haul. Okay, let's try to do this. We got kale and zucchini, avocado, berries. Ivy's already eaten half this. Um, $15 of sweet potatoes, <laughs> bananas, bell peppers, rice. We were out of rice. Ivy's out of these. We did get these from Costco last time. So Ben needed pumpkin puree. I got an heirloom tomato. <laughs> Two kinds of Justins, some turkey bacon, frozen berries, frozen fries, frozen corn, hash browns, these cookies. That was an impulse buy. Bought this for Ben. We needed bay leaves and garlic. And then Ben needed this. We lost this at our party last week or two weeks ago, so I got that. Not right now. Ivy has six yogurt. I got two of these because they only have them at Whole Foods and I don't go very often. Some vegan mayo. This was another impulse buy. Almond butter, peanut butter, two things of lactose-free, cottage cheese, dark chocolate, hot chocolate, dark chocolate, hot chocolate, whipped cream. This was another impulse buy. <laughs> Oat milk, orange juice, and then if I didn't tell you, yogurt. So that was $250 of groceries and a bad coffee. <laughs> Not gonna lie, today has been a little bit rough. Officially made it to lunchtime now, so I'm hoping she will take a good nap today because I need a break. <laughs> I like really need to deep clean this house, but I just like don't have time, especially this week. Like stuff needs to be like really washed. Cause we basically haven't like deep cleaned anything since we moved in. It's just been like little patchy stuff. I had wanted to do that today, but that is no longer the plan. <laughs> after how last night went. I'm heating up some leftover turkey meatballs with quinoa. I was eating some cheese and blackberries right now. Wait, is that good? I tried to do like a little cleaning upstairs. I think I just need to stop assuming that I can get a lot done when Ivy's awake. Like it's just not possible most days. For some moms it is, and for uh, me it's not. <laughs> Today on her nap, I need to just chill. I don't, I don't need to focus on cleaning. I'll probably clean the little powder bath quickly downstairs. I just need to like wipe the counters and stuff. My food's not even done yet, and she's almost done eating. <laughs> Good morning, it's Friday. Right. Hi, you eating PBJ? We went to the farmer's market. I'm eating, I had a, like a protein thing but i wanted to show you what we got at the farmer's market there's only like two or three weeks left two weeks left after today so we got some raspberries some starter greens for ben jalapeno pork sticks and eggs butternut squash green beans these like they weren't just golden delicious they were something else anyway these are really really good apples we got some asian pears and then we did a stock up on a couple of things so ben got two kinds of honey. We got two things of these pickles because we use them all the time. And then we stocked up on this sauce, which is locally made. It's very, very good. I like this one the most. That's actually what's on my food over there. Got a coffee and then I did get flowers. Benjamin's going to get them. I love you. Wow, Barry. I probably most of what we're gonna do today. Farmer's Market always makes our morning a little bit crazy because we live further away from it now. We used to be like five minutes from it, and now we're like 15 minutes from it, plus morning traffic and stuff. Yeah, it's like 9.05, so Ben's like trying to get on for work. We also left later than we were anticipating. And then we got these flowers, weed things that Ben was like, I can just pick you those. 
by a lake, but I like the flowers that came with them too. So that is our haul today. Pretty big farmer's market haul, but again, it's ending pretty soon. So gotta get it while we can, right? You guys, I have literally no idea what I've filmed for this video. I feel like I've just filmed the most random stuff. I have a kitchen <laughs> that is just destroyed because I decided, you know, to ruin my own life and not spend all day doing dishes. So I didn't, but that means I now need to spend all night doing dishes. It's almost six o'clock. I got Thai food. I got Tom Yum soup, Penang curry, chicken Penang curry, and then some veggie spring rolls. Very good. I ate like half, maybe a little bit less than half. There's always like a thousand geese in our neighborhood. It's so weird because we're like in between two ponds. Anyway, today was just like a busy mom day. Honestly, I don't even know what happened today. Ivy was in a really good mood though. Oh, I have been dealing with like really bad dizziness today. And last night, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not. I just feel like I've been a little bit out of it, but I've been in a good mood. I just haven't felt right. I'm officially 23 weeks pregnant tomorrow, which is crazy. 23 is also my favorite number, so that's fun. Hopefully next week we'll go back to normal. Hopefully mom's, or mom's, Ben's mom is feeling better. What's on my arm? And we can have the week we we're planning to have this week next week. Planning to go to Madison next weekend. Maybe I'll film tomorrow and shove it in this vlog. If not, I'm gonna start filming on Sunday, I think. But Sunday I have a massage. Monday I have work. Tuesday, I would like to go to Gobert's farm. We were supposed to do that this week. We're gonna try it next week. We did actually cancel Ivy's swimming lessons and we're gonna sign her up for like the spring version or winter version, whatever, starts next year. We'll either do early next year or we'll do like the April one. We're just like, it's just like too much for us to do right now and we should have known that before we signed up, but it's okay. Maybe Friday we'll go to Wheaton next week and then I'm supposed to go to Madison next weekend with Elizabeth and Ivy, but We'll see how that goes. So anyway, I need to do all these dishes. I think we're just gonna chill the rest of the night, watch a movie with Ivy, probably watch, ooh, Great British Baking Show is on tonight. Anyway, let's get to it. Do you guys wanna watch me do the dishes? <laughs> do you guys think I'm boring? I am kind of boring, okay? Like, realistically, I'm just like a normal person, so I don't do crazy stuff. Hopefully you all don't think I'm boring. Okay, no one truly answered that, but for all of you that made it till the end, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you don't think I'm boring, but also I am kind of boring. Aren't we all kind of boring? I don't know, these people that live these like crazy lives, like for example, I'm watching Lydia Millen, absolutely love her, but like just not a life that I'm planning to live anytime soon, it can just be a little overwhelming and I think sometimes it's fun to watch the boring people. At least that's what I tell myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We got another vlog coming soon, some more budgeting videos. I've also been super active on TikTok. So if you do like TikTok, make sure to follow me over there. It's just Jesse Fritz and make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you soon.